Hi and welcome to Note Dex. In this video, we're just going to give you a quick introductory tour around the app to get you going as quickly as we can. So, when you've logged into the app, you will see a first blank stack, which you can open by clicking it. Then you'll see a card which you can click again. Now you can start editing text if you'd like to, by just clicking your mouse in either the top area, which is the title area, or the next section below, which is the body of the text area. You can add in lots more text like this, and then you can use the text toolbar to do different formatting on the text. For instance, you can use these two icons to increase or decrease the font size up or down. Pretty cool, right? You can obviously do basic simple things like changing it to bold, or you can change the highlight colors, and you can change the font colors. You can even insert symbols, tables, hyperlinks and more. Great. Let's keep going. This is the icon to flip the card to the back, if you want to add in text to the back of the card. Next, if you want to add a new card, you just click the plus icon here at the top and it will create a new card. Click the left and right arrows to navigate to other cards in your stack as you would expect. In addition, at the top of the card above the text icons, we have some extra special icons. The first one is the card color, if you want to change the color of the card. Like this. You can also add an image. And you can even add ink. This is the ink icon. And you can use your mouse or a stylus to add ink, like this. At the top of the menu here you have an option to change the actual size of the card on the screen. So that's quite useful if you've got a big monitor and the card looks a little bit small in your screen. So for instance, I could increase the size or we can decrease the size to suit accordingly. Great! Now you have got the basics let's take just one more minute to show you around the app. On the left hand side, we see the different areas of the app. These icons will show you stacks that you've archived, your favorite cards, or your most recent cards. And this is the settings icon where you can find a ton of options to customize note decks, including changing the background image. One more cool feature is at the bottom, you have the card slider. This is a way to get a preview of the different cards in your stack. Next, when you go back to the thumbnail view, you see card groups on the left-hand side. Card groups are basically subfolders within a stack to help you organize your cards within a particular stack. You also have search and filter options at the top of the screen, including some different views worth checking out, like our card organizer view. At the top of the screen we also have a menu with some extra options, both in the card edit view and the thumbnail view. The options shown relate to activating the study mode, sharing and saving cards. On the right hand side we have the productivity sidebar and this has two main areas. One is the recent cards that you've been working on. And the second is the quick note area where you can just add a note. This is quite useful if you're working in a different stack and you want to create a card somewhere else. We also have many options in both the card or stack menus that relate to actions such as moving cards. So, if you click on the three dots here you'll see an extra range of options both for a card or for a stack. And finally, don't forget to try our chatbot assistant, Dex, who is ready to answer any questions you have. If this is the first week that you're using Note Dex, you should take advantage of our special pricing that is only available during the trial week. Thanks for trying Note Dex.